Welcome back, everyone, to the latest trailer talk with Babble On. And this is Finn on the mic. Immediately to my left, we have Beta. Hey, everyone. Joining me tonight as well, we have Mart across the table. Sup? Yeah, we're trying a few different layouts going on tonight. Uh, we have five trailers to discuss. We didn't have too much that came out today. Usually Tuesday is pretty trailer heavy. Today was kind of light. In fact, if anything did come out, it didn't make an impression at all. Like the say. cell? Which one? The cell, Stephen Keen's cell with uh, Samuel L. Jackson, Jonah, John Cusack. No? Oh, oh, that's right. And I completely glossed over that link. Because there was, there was news on that, and then there was news on the It remake Yeah, as well. They were paired together, and I was like, no, I don't give it two shits. Pass. Let's go. Let's go. We got Apocalypse. So, starting off tonight, um, we have an actor, Michael Keaton. He's been in two back-to-back Best Picture winners the last couple of years, starting with Birdman. That's Bitterman. 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 What am I saying? He's, he's saying Birdman. <laughs> Bitterman? Uh, so we'll see if uh, this one will continue his trend. Um, oh, uh, the next one. Fuck, what was it? Michael Keaton? Yeah, uh, Spotlight. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. what it was. Nope, I haven't seen it. Oh, that one's pretty legit. You should check that one out. Looks like his next flick is called The Founder. And we'll just take a look at that trailer and see what we think of that. And we're back, having just viewed the trailer for The Founder, the first full trailer. Anyhow, all we've had would be um, a poster that we got a while back, just featuring Michael Keaton in front of a McDonald's. And I'm not really sure what to think at this point. I mean, the cast looks pretty solid. We've got Michael Keaton there. We've got Ron Swanson. Nick Offerman. Nick Offerman, thank you. Appreciate that. Clean shaven, though. Clean shaven. That is unexpected. Are you going to shave now? N- maybe. Maybe. Know. Yeah. Could look more professional. Yeah. Come on. I look, I look fat, though, when I shave. <laughs> so probably not. Oh, man. You could work on that. By going to McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. That's right. No, but uh, originally when I heard that they were making this, this founder thing, I thought it was going to be like the actual McDonald's guy, not the guy that owned real estate property where they were, you know, established. Oh, that's what I was kind of figuring too. Yeah. Yeah, but I guess, yeah, this trailer just showed me what they're actually going to show, and I think it looks cool. It looks interesting. I mean, definitely not... Not something I'd probably go check out opening weekend or just go to the theater at all to see. But mm, Yeah, it's like more of a home rental. Home rental, yeah, yeah, for sure. But no, I mean, it starts off with that Michael Keaton accent, which I enjoyed. <laughs> Could be a little over the top, but I love the guy. I like that he's kind of making a comeback. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's he, pretty cool. I mean, he deserves it. I think, you know, after Batman, he had what, like, Jack Frost and just straight to DVD. Well, movies that should have been straight to DVD anyway. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I think the biggest one was uh, that one with Lindsay Lohan and the love bug thing. The Herbie. 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 That's right. Yeah, That's he was, right. Yeah. Yeah. He's the dad. Forgot he was in that. And then other guys, too. So, I mean, oh, oh he was the captain okay. with that whisper okay. yelling. So. <laughs> 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 what, what? I'm thinking of one. He was with Jim Caviezel in a movie, I think. Was it White Noise? That was Passion of the Christ. <laughs> nah, no, dude. I was just kidding. Oh. Yeah, it was White Noise. White Noise. All right, I started that movie, and then I think I fell asleep. And it was supposed to be like a suspense horror, maybe. I, don't, I thought. Anyway, that's what I assumed. I didn't see it. Me neither. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it was just a guy connecting with his dad, and I'm thinking the wrong thing. Either way, it wasn't that good. You fell asleep. Well, you know, I was young, and I probably misunderstood what the point of the whole movie was. <laughs> But this one, clearly, I had it wrong as well because I had some. I was expecting something completely different. Yeah, I thought it was going to be like the origins of McDonald's and. So did oh, I. this mm-hmm. is what I, you know, used for the recipes and all this stuff. Mm-hmm. It, it's nice to see another dark side to McDonald's besides uh, how fast food is killing me. Oh, oh no, man! <laughs> fast food at this point, all those preservatives are work. What are actually like keeping me alive? Keep I think. Me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I've got this this youthful face still. <laughs> like if I don't shave, if I, if I do shave, I guess I still get carded. I'm pretty sure if I go to the movies, you know, 
check out Deadpool. They asked for my idea. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Should go eat lunch on campus, though. Should. Bled right in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'll be checking this one out down the road for sure. Michael Keaton. Can't go wrong. Actually, I, w- I watched a completely unrelated note on our movies. Yeah. Someone posted like the transition of Selena Kyle into Catwoman. Right. And they were praising like the soundtrack. So I was going back to the old school Tim Burton's. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, Got to check those out. It wasn't. It hasn't aged well, like all aspects of it. Right. But still enjoyable. But yeah. the music and like the whole darkness of it. Mm-hmm. The goth, you know, kind of ridiculous amount of cats, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. and it still you know has some joy in a goddamn thing compared to Batman v Superman. Well, joy is not what I was feeling, man. Michelle Pfeiffer in a leather cat suit. I was feeling a type of joy that I was. I hit puberty, man. <laughs> I was like, holy shit! I just I grew like a Tormund Giants Bane size facial hair beard thing just watching her slink about because she was on top of a piano at one point right uh yeah i think so yeah yeah Yeah. that did it for me that's that's disgusting i was like two at the time moving on (laughs) something slightly more serious we're gonna now view the trailer for jason bourne why well you know no why is this movie made now i mean oh okay i thought you were complaining against the fact that it wasn't Oh no! I I kind of want to see the trailer, but at the same time, why now? Come on! Oh well, I don't know. I mean, everything's a franchise. Milk it as much as they can. Jeremy. It's Renner like the American anything. Bond almost. Well, yeah, we have Ethan Ethan Hunt. Oh yeah! Ethan oh Hunt. yeah! Mission Impossible. Ethan Hunt. <laughs> I thought yeah. you were going to say Ethan Hunt. <laughs> no. Uh, so yeah, we've yeah. got that. So that's what we got. All right. So let's see the return of Matt Damon. As Jason Bourne. And we're back. We just witnessed Matt Damon taking somebody out with some adamantium claws or some shit. (laughs) Dude, one punch, boom. He just took him straight the fuck out. (laughs) Oh, that was awesome. Why is this movie called Jason Bourne? I mean, isn't his real name David David Webb or something like that? Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, it has a real name, but... Why they're still calling him Jason Bourne when it's like... Hey, he knows who he is. Why don't we call him by his real name? He's well, he's because of he he's Jason Bourne now, dude. Uh, David Webb now. is dead. He he remembers everything now, so he's back to full on Jason Bourne. So, what do you think? Tell me, tell me. I need to know. Tell you. All right. So, oh, see that little sequence we just saw? Yeah. That is one thing I, that caught my eye right there. I have a little gripe. Our homeboy over here is like, "Oh no, we've been hacked," and then. They open the Black Ops folder. Black Ops. Like, what the fuck? Like, okay, you look through this laptop. All right. Well, this is my work laptop. No, it's not. (laughs) You look through my desktop, right? You're not going to find a folder called porn in here. If you have a folder called Black Ops and then you're being hacked, it's like top secret shit right here. Click me. National security. Maybe it's just clickbait. Clickbait. Oh, fuck. <laughs> BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed yeah. is running the CIA. <laughs> Motherfuck. We figured it out. At That's last. why we're so fucked. Yeah, I was going to say, that makes that makes all the incompetence. Like <laughs> It brings it into sharp focus. It's like, why do we get keep? Why are we hacked all the time? God damn it. We put it under the Black Ops folder. They should know not to look at it. How do they keep finding it? <laughs> There's another folder like Celebrity Nudes in there. <laughs> And that one's encrypted in the <laughs> Black Ops yeah, one. Like <laughs> you need like a special like security level clearance just to get into the celebrity nudes. <laughs> right. Fuck. You might as well put that Black Ops folder on the desktop. Might as well. Yeah. Just <laughs> put it on a Dropbox somewhere. Fuck it. Nobody cares. Oh, this was impressive too. This whole chase sequence. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, the trailer. I'm super hyped for it. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Yeah. I. This looks really awesome. Mm-hmm. I love the, all the movies like this that like. They have their, you know, people in the their offices or whatever in their base of operations. They're like all freaking Bam. out, and and this guy is like, oh, such a badass out in the real world, and they're <laughs> all the tracking real. him. Yeah, and but he's like always one step ahead. Yeah, oh. and it's coming out in July too, so that's mm-hmm. still tail end of summer. That's when we're getting you know all the good movies. Right. There's that dude dropping again. Fuck. One, one thing punch. I, yeah. One punch, man. 
But uh, shout out to Fiddy, by the way. <laughs> we miss you. That dude doesn't age, man. And these are all clips from the older ones, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. I recognized a few of them. That one in particular, for sure. And that whole... <laughs> That's what, what I want to see too. Like the fights were just brutal. They were. Yeah. That was yeah. Like he, it was like half Jason Bourne, half furniture. Like right there, he just took a guy out with like a book. And if I remember the movie right, it was like a towel. It was just <laughs> like, towel snapping that guy. Julia Stiles. Julia Stiles is has apparently saved the last dance, she, and now she's <laughs> helping out Jason Bourne again. She's back. There she is. It's a match. It's officially her. It's not a not a recast. Tinder. It, it's a match. <laughs> oh, damn. Might as well. It's one of those bots. <laughs> like seeing Tom Lee Jones working still. Yeah, I was going to say. He's... Also, he asked the same question I did earlier. It's like, why Why is this still happening? Why? <laughs> no, but... <laughs> <laughs> why the fuck is this franchise still going? <laughs> I'm glad to see that uh, Tom Lee Jones isn't just playing some old, pouty, like, defeated old man. Oh, like in uh, No Country? Well, that's what he's been doing in everything recently. He's, yeah. just, he's just grumpy cat now. Grumpy cat. Grumpy cat. Grumpy Tom. <laughs> but no, and one thing I also noticed, one thing I did like about the old Jason Bourne movies, especially once you get to the action sequence and like just the shot of him just standing in the street talking to Julia Stiles, I believe it was. Mm-hmm. The camera is all over the damn place. Like if you remember that from the old trilogy, the original trilogy, it was just. I don't I, think they had a dolly. You know, I don't remember that, but we definitely need to watch the trilogy before we, we go watch this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, agreed. So we'll we'll go ahead and do that because this this shit looks good. This shit looks really good. That damn damn the budget that just went into that highway scene alone. Yeah. Oh, and it has the girl from the Danish girl, uh, the, girl from, the not, actual girl, not Mon Mothma, not Mon Mothma, the girl Eddie from Eddie Redmayne. Room. Is that Relars? Is that the same girl? No. No. Uh-huh. No, 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 it's not. Because Brie Larson was in the room. Because they both won. Mm-hmm. So I'm crossing the streams. I'm mixing it up. Damn. Gosh, if only I could recall. But no, for sure, this one, theater checkout. Oh, you bet. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Maybe, at least opening weekend, probably. I don't know. Yeah. Definitely a Friday, Saturday watch. Yep. For real. Oh, snap. And fuck, when did this come out? 1996, the original? Do you guys know? I think so, yeah. 96. Either 96 or 95. Yeah. I think that's why they're doing it like 20 years after. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. 2016. And here we're still waiting for Christopher Johnson from District 9. He said three years and he hasn't come back. We got fucking aliens coming back from the 90s just to hand our asses back to us. Yeah. We're talking about Independence Day resurgence. Anything with Jeff Goldblum's worth watching. For real. Portlandia. Shout out to Portlandia. Oh, that's right. His cameos are always His cameos sweet. are hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was remember, he was selling uh fuck, what are those little uh, the, those little white cloth things? Uh, yeah, and then he also sold them like the the uh, iPhone headphones yeah, like the iPhone <laughs> headphone decoration. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm not going to know what those things do are. Do the laugh. Do the laugh. <laughs> oh, oh snap. Oh, we're going to we're going to edit that in later on today. Faux show. Yeah. Shout out to whoever created that. I will uh, that will be our closing theme <laughs> for the day and we'll give credit to the guy that, that created the the song. Oh, nice. hell yeah. Mard fucking golden suggestion right there. Yeah. Damn. I could not have topped that if I'd wanted to. All right, so we're going to pause for just a sec. We're going to check out the trailer for Independence Day Resurgence. Official trailer number two. Discount Hemsworth appearance. Bart is nipping out across the way over there. Breaking Witness a. me. <laughs> we are back. Having just seen the uh, second trailer for Independence Day Resurgence. And one thing I did notice on this one for sure, was how much of the original cast that they brought back. Yeah. I mean, you had... Vivek A. Fox, uh, Vivek Bill Pullman. What is the dad's Will Smith name? in a picture. <laughs> Will Smith in a picture, that's right. Uh, damn, if only I could remember his dad's name. Bill Pullman, not Paxton. Yeah. Uh, let's see, and then I guess William Fink... 
Fickner is in this one. Yeah, Taxi Guy. If you ever watched a TV series, Taxi. Oh, no. No? No. Negative. Negativo. Um, the main, I guess the main love interest there is the president's daughter, but it's not the same actress, I don't believe. The original was in um, Frick. Frick. Scott Pilgrim. Oh, right. She was the, she was the lesbian ex. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Otherwise, oh, Data. 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 Awesome. Of course, Jeff Goldblum. As always, you kind of need him for this follow-up. You kind of need Will Smith too, but you know. But you can get you can get them both. So I don't yeah. think Will Smith does a lot of sequels. He only did Bad Boys Two, if memory serves right, mm. when it comes to the sequel department. We're still waiting for Wild West, Wild 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 West, Wild Wild, wild West. <laughs> the the sequel of that piece of shit. Yeah. No, but anyway, uh, we have Liam Hemsworth as well, and that that guy, right there. I don't know. I wanted to be excited. Oh, there we go. We actually saw William Fickner. Just the fact that I really dug the 1996 version. Like, it was such a B, B movie, you know? Mm-hmm. It's just... A well done B-rated movie. Very well done. It, it was campy as hell, but at the same time, you got these great special effects with the destruction of Los Angeles and the White House and just started a whole trend. I love how it actually even showed up in other movies, the destruction of the White House. It's just the trope. At yeah. this point, like but, uh, what was it? Awesome Powers used it, the second one, possibly one of them for sure. Yeah, and they freaked out the president with that. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right, because he went to the past and he showed him footage. That's right. <laughs> oh god, I actually made me watch the movie again just because of Awesome Powers. So, the one thing, well, many potential grabs that I have with this movie right here, is how seriously it's taking itself. Yeah, it, that was uh, evident from like the first teaser. But I don't know. This trailer actually, yeah, this trailer actually makes me want to watch it more. To be honest, like, it's it's serious, but like it's it looks like it'd be a fun movie to go watch. It like, could be like CG I'm, I'm, all the hell though. Oh hell yeah! God, yeah. I'm, I feel like I'm watching a cutscene. For real. But there's no other way you can you know do this movie. That's true. I mean, especially with all the changes that they've done. I mean. You look at this, they have like a like a space navy now. You've got mm-hmm. space fighter jets. Which is, it all looks awesome to me. It makes me feel like this would be an alternate future I would love to live in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I can agree with that as well. Yeah. Uh, like it's like a video game waiting to happen. Like I'm surprised there's no Independence 2 for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Well, for, well see, for the longest time I thought Independence Day didn't need a sequel really. It really didn't. District 9 needed a sequel. Independence Day didn't. But I'll take it. Freaking A. You yeah. guys, you guys going to go watch it uh, opening weekend? Uh, I don't know about that. I Dude. know I'm going to. Who's our leading man here? That's what I want to know. Is it Jeff Goldblum? It's Chris, man. Chris? Yeah. Who's Chris? Chris Hemsworth. Liam. Oh, I want it to be Chris. Exactly. Liam. See? Discount uh, Hemsworth. Discount Hemsworth, as he'll forever be. That's his one nickname. His other nickname? Not Chris? Blantosaurus Rex. <laughs> he's the most boring guy on screen I've ever seen. <laughs> Fuck. He emotes like a wooden board. I get more emotion out of a fleshlight. I think he should have been in Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> no, he could, he could be. I mean, like, freaking... Beta's dying. <laughs> We lost beta over there. <laughs> beta down, beta down. Okay. Beta's down. We're also suffering through the apparent storm of the, of the century outside, so if you hear any background noise, apologies. It is advance. raining and thundering, and it's I'm scared. Get, so maybe Chris get, is out. Uh-huh. 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 Freaking Thor. Okay, but this movie looks hella fun. It could be. Um, so long as they focus more on the aliens and the destruction... Because I like destruction movies, like world destruction movies. Yeah, those are pretty good, but that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Like, I'll let you go on. Isn't it? I mean, if, yeah, like if they, if they dwell on, on uh, Discount Hemsworth and his, and a girl, his girlfriend's uh, relationship, mm, like no. what they did with Godzilla, uh, oh, that's uh, going to be a boring mess. movie. Poor parenting. But isn't this director the same guy that does all the disaster movies? 
Royal Emmerich or Roland? Yeah. Is it? Did they did they bring him back for it? Let's check and see. We'll click to the end here. I hope so because he's he's like the master of that stuff. Because he did 2012 as well, right? Yeah. Did he? Is he the one that did San Andreas? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. That's that's a little too camp for him. We'll have to look it up here online. Um, I mean, nowadays we see the world just get destroyed. Like we just saw, what was that? That bridge there at the very end. Looks uh, like it was the exact same time that they were filming uh, London what? Has Fallen. Oh, yeah. With Gerard. And they decided to put a better cast. I don't know. Yep. Roland Emmerich. Yeah. My boy. My boy. My boy, Roland. So he's he's on top of, you know, just destroying every major landmark the world has. I think 2012 was his belt, too. Yeah. So so is, is he trying to destroy the entire world in his movies? As many think? times as possible. I think he's actually given a blueprint to all the aliens out there. Watch my films. You'll know how to do it. This is how you do it. <laughs> this is how you make the biggest impact. <laughs> Go for these things. Go for Will Smith. Okay, now I'm scared. I'm paranoid. Oh, man, we're in the Midwest. We got nothing here. Yeah. We got a rock and Stonehenge made out of old cars. Car uh-huh. edge. We are safe. For real. I don't like these guys right here going as... Who's the who's the president? I think it's some chick. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> like some nameless... Oh, I hope it's not some nameless actress. Let me see if I could find her. President some chick. President Cela, Coin. President Lanford. Celo Ward, I'm going to say. Let's see if there's anything. She's from she House. Was, she was in The Fugitive. She was in House. Oh, was she? she was oh, that's House right. Is X. Oh, man. She got a haircut. Gone Girl. Wait. Wait a minute. Yeah. Was she that dumb neighbor? Uh, Might have been. Day after tomorrow. Okay, she wasn't the sister, right? Fuck, I don't know. I don't remember anymore. She was born in 1956. How old does that make her? Old. She doesn't look old at all. 50. 50. 60. 60. 60. Yeah. <laughs> We always have that 10-year gap. She's 5'7". She's taller than me. Damn it. Damn it all to hell. She's so good looking, man. She is. Faux show. Faux show. For real. I'm going to figure out what the hell. What What are they in? Hey, wait, what is what happening? Is, they're probably they're in an alien spaceship. Now? Well, yeah, they're in an alien spaceship for sure. Wait, wait, wait. Is, oh, God damn it. What's his name? You just got shanked on Sunday Somebody. night. Oh. Oh. Uh, the guy from Deep Space Nine? No, the bodyguard. Oh, Aria? Aria. Aria Hota? Yeah, Aria is he Spearwagon? in this? Is he like know, the see. big... That dude in the... Bro- oh, no, I don't think so. Because they had a close-up shot of that. Um, he's like a military general. Just at the very beginning of the trailer here. Yeah. We'll keep keep an eye out for that. Damn, we're not going to see it. At least I don't think so. Good here we go. Fox. Mm. For the love of Fuck. I know who you're talking about, and I'm pretty sure it's not Aria. Oh, look at that. They're trailing U.S. flags. Why? So everybody can see it on the moon. America. They're just going to burn those things. Like Once they fire their, their boosters, bam, it all goes down. See, here he is. Is that Aria? No. Yeah, I didn't think. He's too small. They so, kind of look like him. Yeah, kind of. So maybe, I don't know, you know... It having come out in the 90s, it had its charm. The camp was like perfect for that age. Yeah. And this I one, missed the Quaid factor. Oh, no. No, that guy <laughs> can just stay right the hell away from this one. He will not be missed. And His sanity is missed. Well, yeah, for sure. Otherwise, yeah, I'm willing to admit. I'll be checking that one out. Hot damn, big old lightning flashes. But I don't know. I want to be more excited, but I'm really hesitant the way that these these world destruction movies have been just becoming kind of like disaster of the week. You see them so commonplace. Yeah. You know, it's I don't I wouldn't call myself excited, but mm-hmm. like I I do want to watch it. I think it's a fun movie. So, it's not like I'll be like counting down the days. Mm-hmm. It'll be like one of those things like, "Oh, hey, by the way, this movie is coming out." Oh, okay. It's like uh, my love for Keanu I'm going to go see it to this weekend, but I wasn't like counting the days either. Yeah, like it's not top priority. But I mean, it's also for sure one, as far as I, I'm concerned, I think it's one that you kind of have to watch in theaters. 
yeah. just because of the scope of the special effects and, you know, world destruction stuff, of course. And we don't get too many aliens destroying our world anymore. No, not good ones anyway. <sighs> what was the one? Skyline and another one came out at the exact same time. Hmm. Exactly. Nothing. No, do. I don't remember. It was nope. Battle of Los Angeles is, was the third. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're so commonplace. But now we are going to, is this the third or the fourth? It doesn't the, matter. It says the, finale. No, no, no. I mean, the movie itself in the whole J-Law in Mystique, the whole, in oh, the Mystique saga. Oh, the third. Third. Because mm-hmm. that's what I'm calling it. It's the Mystique saga. Now, this is, this is no X-Men movie. Third? Third. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Third First one. class. First class, Days of Future Past, and now this. Oh, okay. All right. Well, f- hell, we get the Wolverine ones in the middle there. Mm-hmm. I, I lose track real damn easy. All right, so we're going to watch the final trailer for X-Men Apocalypse, and we're going to tune right back in. Aw, oh, shit. I'm excited about that last shot. Yeah, uh, Wolverine. Hell yeah. Yeah, that looks pretty dope. That. Oh, man, I just love Wolverine, like... Hugh Jackman is the perfect Wolverine. He is. He really is. Just the fact that he's like, you know, going away from that. It frightens me. Though I did read a rumor that it, he's not actually in the movie. I would believe uh, that. Like, like, what the hell? Yeah, I mean, I, I'd believe that rumor. It would be hard to do. Yeah. And people would be really upset, too. You show so much as, you know, the claws, which you already did, and then Wolverine's not in the movie. Like That's, in... Uh, I. <laughs> I think it might be like in in the first one, the uh, first class where they go and try to recruit him and he tells them to fuck off. Mm -hmm. Like that kind of like quick cameo. Yeah. Okay. That that would be okay with. But just the fact, I think they said the director actually said, Brian Singer actually came out and said that Wolverine may not be in the movie. Yeah. Which I think is kind of odd. Because I did, now that I think about it, um, Hugh Jackman's Twitter, he actually posted a picture of him with the claws on. And he said one last time or something, suiting up one last time. Yeah. And that was a while back, too. Hmm. Otherwise, uh, I don't know. There, a lot of the stuff in this trailer we've already seen. Right. Everything with Apocalypse, essentially. And it's very Jennifer Lawrence-centric as well. Yep. We, do, we do see a lot more Olivia Munn in that. Well, who is she? Yeah, who is she? I don't know. Who Psych Lock. Psy- Psych Lock. Psych Lock? Yeah. That's a weird name. So hey. what's her ability? Like, uh, Oh, she's a powerful telekinetic. Uh, she can actually like form like telekinetic swords and energy be- um, okay. bolts from her mind. So Okay, I gotcha. So, yeah, that's what we kind of see her swinging around there. She's got a katana there and then some glowy saber thing. Yeah. So I guess that makes sense. All right. I've always wanted to understand. I wonder if that was Stryker. That, that was Stryker, yeah. 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 Interesting. So I wonder if this is pre, pre, pre like adamantium. Oh no, we saw the adamantium claws. Yeah. So this right, is good. maybe just Raptor. The Weapon X program just ended mm-hmm. for Wolverine. So he may not have memory anymore. Because I've, I've, the whole timeline is just a complete mess. I guess right now it's what the eighties, right? Yeah. And uh, the first X Men movie was late nineties, early two thousand. Right. Mm-hmm. So it, it's future. right around the same time where he loses memory. Okay. So he loses his memory 15 years prior. So that's, they tie it into X-Men origins where he breaks out. Uh, if you remember oh. Cyclops was in that prison. Oh yeah. He yeah. breaks them out. No, that can't be happening. I don't need that. I, I think they're going to go a different way. For okay. Wolverine. I certainly hope so. Cause Cyclops, he's the one that says we had help. Just like in X-Men Origins. And then got help we get the him. same goddamn Deadpool again. No! Oh, fuck. This can't happen. It's I don't not think it'll happen. happen. No, yeah, no, Brian no. Singer cares too much of this for the, yeah. Uh, yeah, about yeah. this. He's undoing a lot of mistakes from other directors. Yeah. I mean, definitely. Days. No, no, no. Not Days of Future Past. The other one. Last Stand? Last Stand. Yeah, yeah Days of Future Past essentially undid The Last Stand. Is that right? Yeah. Right. Okay. And this one, ugh, I want to be excited, but... We've seen, like I said, we've seen a lot of this before. Uh, Magneto's pull, light and dark, you know. Charles Talking about his, uh, burying his family again. Again. Charles still holding on, looking for hope. They don't know what to do with James McAvoy's hair. 
Yeah. Nice like whether to keep yeah. it or go bald or just keep it again or. I, I think they're gonna mullet. do it in the movie. And they'll finally shave him. They did that in first class too, though. Really? Like at the end of it, he had a bald head. I don't really. Did he? No, yeah. I, I don't remember that. I remember them cracking a joke about it. Two of them. Yeah. Like one where he's putting on Cerebro or the early Cerebro. And, um, and then, acts. and yeah. then at the end, he says, "Like next, you'll know I'll be going bald." And yeah, he's in the wheelchair at that point. He still had hair though. At the end of the movie? Yeah. At the very end of the movie, he was talking to the uh, agent. Yeah. And she's like, you know, they're talking. She's telling him, oh, they're not G-Men. They're X-Men. Yeah. I'm like, oh, fuck off. Yeah. And then he's like, well, next thing you know, I might be going bald. I'm like, oh, go straight to hell. Fuck you. <laughs> I thought he didn't have hair. No. no. I, might, I must have dreamt that or no. something. They, they kept making jokes about it. Because that first one where he put Cerebro on, like I was saying, um, Beast asked him. Asks, asks, fuck. Beast asks him. Axe him? <laughs> Axe like, him, yeah, okay. He's like, can I shave your head? He's like, don't you touch my hair. <laughs> nice. Which I thought was like was a nice touch, you know, it was subtle. You know, It was it was obvious enough, but, you know, pr- properly handled in comparison to, next thing you know, I might be going bald. Fuck right off. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it can't be. It can't be. His hand is bloody. Origins Wolverine. That just happened. A new Origins so Wolverine. The adamantium procedure just happened. Yeah, so he's he's still. Oh, okay. He's coming out. He's coming out of the. He's coming out of the closet. Oh damn! No, the procedure. Yeah. So how bloody was it? Because I wonder. You know, he still bleeds when they come out, but they heal. Instantly. But like, like his uh, the top part of his hand is bloody. Okay. So maybe he just shanked a few guys on the way out. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Let's take a look at that. It's right after the title. You See, got look the at those game. army guys. Like, This is like Stryker's place. It yeah, could it, be just his veins there, though. It looked like blood was on top of his... Yeah, there's there's no question it's Stryker's place. Hmm. That, Damn, it's just like not even two frames that this... they gave us to play with. See? Uh, I guess there is yeah. something dark there. Yeah. And it's not... It's not coming off the claws, so yeah, probably. I think this the procedure had just happened, and he's breaking out. Man. So we're going to see some Wolverine ass. Mm. For sure. Most likely. Probably. The guy yeah. can get in ridiculous shape. Yeah, that's crazy. I that can't. Crazy. I, I honestly can't wait for the last Wolverine movie. Mm-hmm. They said it's Old Man Logan for that one. They're thinking it, and it's like, thinking, yay. I, but yeah, you know, I'm glad. Wolverine. The whole X Men trilogy, like the original, it was the story of Wolverine. It's Wolverine and his bitches. Mm-hmm. So then, of course, he gets the Origins one. But no, this one definitely, besides my hesitations as to, you know, Apocalypse being oversold as a super powered villain, I don't even know his mutation. Please don't tell me. So yeah, I can be pretty sure. much the fact that you're feeling that way is exactly what he is. Oh. So, well, and- shit. He's like a giant douchebag with superpowers. You know what I mean? Damn. If you don't. But these shots right here, they make me really hesitant. That right there, these poses, clearly. It's made all for 3D. Is, all of it is 3D. Right. And I hate that. I despise that fucking gimmick. But still, I'll be checking this one out. Definitely. Yeah, Brian and- Singer's back. Good hands. May what? What is it? 27th. May 27th, really? did you say? Yeah, Memorial Day. Isn't that, isn't that Kiga's birthday? Yeah, May 27th. Yeah. Kiga, shout out. Shout out to Kiga. Maybe he'll join us Kiga once. Kiga needs health. Kiga but needs health. I honestly can't Kiga wait to see romantic freedom. this movie. Because every time Brian Singer does the X-Men movies, he always does the powers justice. Hmm. It doesn't, doesn't look silly or gimmicky like, well, Origins. Yeah. Oh, Origins was so... So bad. Bone claws. It's like, oh, bone claws. God. Well, I mean, I can understand bone claws, but still, like. When they actually did the animanium claws, they looked mm-hmm. so CGI'd. Well, yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, everything, special effects wise, was just bad Fuck. on that one. And the travesty that was Deadpool. But otherwise, I'll be checking this one out. Theaters for sure. 2D. Thank you very much. You think so? Eat a dick. I, 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 might, I might go to the 3D one. Yeah, same here. We well, always ditch us anyway. Do I? 
Well, you tried to anyway, and then it doesn't pan out. I tell you it's not going to pan out, and then it doesn't. Mm. But it looks cool in 3D. Like, I saw Star Wars in 3D. Mm-hmm. That was pretty cool. I saw The Hobbit in 3D. The second one, Desolation of Smog. That was a piece of shit. <laughs> Where did you see it at, though? Here. Here? Didn't we see it in an IMAX? Uh, yeah. In mm-hmm. Omaha? Yeah. yeah. Did that make it worth watching? Oh, yeah. I, like, I was terrified of smog. It was cool, yeah. Mm-hmm. But, nah, I like Star Wars a lot better in 3D. Star Wars in 3D. Oh, that's right. I guess, yeah. Yeah. That would be nice. Just seeing that blaster bolt. The blaster bolt, like, was, like, right in front of you. Like, would be yeah. legit. And you have dogfights in that, so that's going to be awesome. Yeah, those were, like, the best. Yeah. The dog Anything. Fights. What's that? The dogfights. Especially when Poe, you know, when they're all in, like, Maz's little place there and they get that's attacked. Nice. And then Poe's sh- Poe and company show up, and then like he's doing the one, the tracking shot of Poe. Mm-hmm. That one was really cool. Damn, that I would have loved to see in 3D. Because if there's anything that does work with 3D, it's anything with flight, any a- aerial fight. I think Guardians of Gahul or whatever, they did that in 3D, and that was the main like plus that people were giving to it. It's like it looks amazing. The 3D, this is perfect. So you know what wasn't perfect? The 3D wasn't perfect in Avatar, and all of you watched it and made it the top grossing movie of all time. So Actually, in order to I, fix that mistake, I thought the jungle scenes in Avatar were really great, but like the story itself was shit. So yeah, but in order to fix that mistake, everybody go watch Star Wars Episode Eight and make that the highest grossing movie of all time. That's right. Avatar is all pretty, no substance. Summary of my love life. So, <laughs> anyway, we are going to pause for another second. We're going to watch our final trailer for the night. We are running late. We already lost power once during the evening. I think Beta needs to drain the main vein. I am super excited for this trailer. Oh, this one My favorite is going to be mm-hmm. dope. It's going to win all the Oscars. It has some powerful leading men in this. We've I am super hyped for this movie. Christopher Walken, President Underwood himself. It's going to be tearing ass in this movie. Hell yeah. Scary AF. So we're going to pause for just a sec, and we're going to check out the official trailer, full-length trailer, not the teaser, for Nine Lives. You heard that right. Yes. At last. Oh, sweet Lord. It's like Michael Bay level of comedy. It is the single most beautiful thing I've seen. Outside of Tiny Dancer. I'm I'm tearing up over here. It is majestic. The We just saw The Jungle Book within the last week or two. And I think this movie is going to clearly show people how to properly animate animals. Especially with the mouths. Especially the mouths. Like, holy shit. You see, you see this cat doing pull-ups here during the trailer? I've never seen anything more perfect in my life. Let me see if I could find it. Oh, for the love of... How can this be longer than two minutes? <laughs> Please, show me. See, look at that. Here we go. He has perfect form, too. Look at this. This is some... I I saw that on, like, probably that quality video making on that GIF subreddit. <laughs> uh, likely. This is what happens when uh, President Underwood loses the election. He wow. He a child. Wow, that's... Uh, that's too bad. So let's hope he doesn't lose it. Shout out to House of Cards. Uh, I'll snap. One of the greatest shows ever made. Well, it's it's good for sure. So it's, it's got to th- be pretty damn exciting. Oh, go ahead. No, oh, no. What? I was going to say it's got to be a pretty pretty exciting movie to get Jennifer Garner to stop doing those credit card commercials. Oh yeah. In order to <laughs> film. See, that's what happens. You you split up with Ben Affleck. He becomes a Batman. You're he, in a majestic. She split up with him. Oh, yeah, they're divorced. Yeah. Are they really? Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. I didn't know that. Ben Affleck cheated on her and oh. he knocked up the nanny, too. Oh, well. Oh, damn. So, I mean, I'm sad now. Well, that's why, that's why he's so sad in the movie. Well, sad Ben Affleck. <laughs> he messed up. He, you don't cheat on your wife. You don't Sorry, do Ben. Uh, didn't we see Christopher Walken in top form? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. We haven't seen him. And do this well performance like this has this has blown King Louis out of the water. The last time I saw him, he was just monkeying around. Yeah. Uh, oh, snap. Oh, that just snap. happened. That's one for the history books. Yes, right there. It is. Damn. Like, look at that. Do you see that? 
That was clearly like just the way that says Mr. Fuzzy Pants. Some terrible special effect. Oh, wow. That is awful. <laughs> they just couldn't afford an actual sign. That is what? What could they afford? Could they afford the cameras for this movie and that's it? Uh, the cameras and the actors, I guess. Like they just did the best they could with the cat that they could afford. Because I think Keanu is six different cats. Really? Yeah. Because Key and Peele did an ask, you know, AMA or whatever yeah. online. And apparently it's multiple cats, which, you know, you usually see. You, you don't have just one animal perfectly trained. You have several animals that are trained to do specific things. This one, there's nothing here. This one, it actually looks like they went and got it from a, you know, really sketchy pet store, like in the trailer. Yeah. And they just kept it. Some shoddy looking guy. That's the this joke right there. This joke that he made. Um, MRIs. What is, yeah, MRIs for cat or the guy's like, you, you mean a cat scan? That yeah. joke was banging. It was. We're going to see this guy for sure at the Academy Awards within the next two years. I'm going to call it. His career is going to skyrocket. He's going to have his own, you know, national broadcast superhero show within the next summer. Probably his own podcast, too. Probably his own podcast. Damn, don't do not do me like this. <laughs> don't do this. Why you do this? Why you do this? <laughs> we'll see him in the Game of Thrones spinoff. He'll be the next Dario. Oh, oh. We, we still need to watch that then. Oh, okay. Recast, recast next season. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, I don't understand. I can't, I can't handle how awesome this movie looks. Right we, now. we should just defy everything and everyone and just go watch this midnight premiere. Do I'm you gonna, think they will have a midnight premiere for this movie? I well, think if, if they do, that'll be the only premiere of this movie. <laughs> Admittedly, they've been starting them early. We usually get there, what, seven for all the, uh, the premieres that we've made it to? Seven yeah. on the Thursday? Yeah. Yeah. Seven the day before. And you know me. I usually dress up. I was Batman in several instances. So I'm going to have to be a furry for this one. I am not going to join you on that endeavor. <laughs> no. No. Furries, I don't understand. I'm sure we have some furries in town that I could borrow a costume from, but... Would you want to borrow those costumes? Ooh, yikes. Oh, damn. That's right. Yeah. I'm I, imagining like that couple we met this weekend mm. at that one person's house. Like, mm-hmm. I I think that people like, like them would be uh, into that kind of stuff. And Snarkmeisters. That is disgusting. Ugh. I am disgusted by Kitty that. Kitty wants some litter. Ugh. No. That's enough, Martin. That's enough. Mr. Fuzzy Pants over here. Fuck. Bringing the dogs. Dog from uh, uh, I Am Legend has nothing on this fucking cat. Same with that blonde there. She's gonna steal the show. I just what know. if this movie is actually like funny and we like like it? And then I think we were pretty drunk <laughs> when we saw the movie. Then we need to just stop watching movies altogether. Our gonna, opinion is shit. Come back, and <laughs> we're gonna listen to this podcast and we're gonna be humbled by how wrong we were. We're like, no, this wasn't some Disney Channel movie, some directed DVD nonsense. It was a Masterpiece. Fucking Citizen Cat. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, man, what happened? Who this is did, the best scene. Who did Kevin Spacey, like, who did he have to talk to to get into this? Because it's... What bets did he lose? <laughs> right? No, he did lose a bet, yeah. How many bets did he lose? Probably to Christopher Walken. He's like, Christopher Walken's like, I have to do this really shitty movie. Do it with me? And he's like, nah. And then they made a bet on something. I feel like this was a Super Bowl bet. (laughs) Right? (laughs) That's probably what it was. It's like, I think the Panthers are going to win it. Oh, (laughs) shit. Now I'm in nine lives. And then you... (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Yep. There you got Kevin Spacey in the car there with this... Obviously hating to hear from his wife. Christopher Walken. Decent name. Jennifer Garner. You know, she she was good back in the day. I haven't really heard anything that she's done recently. I can't honestly name a film she was good at. Electra. Hello. Oh, that's right. She was in a Kevin Smith movie, wasn't she? Shout out to 13 going on 30. Ugh. I never saw that. You guys. No, it's not my thing. You guys haven't seen movies until you watch that one. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Christopher Walken. You were in Seven Psychopaths. What the hell? It's Christopher Walken. He is a psychopath. You know, right. you don't give a fuck. From the producer of the Men in Black movies, you, I think I just. You know what this movie needs? The only thing this movie needs is Morgan Freeman. 
oh that no, would he, be the trifecta right there he probably narrates the whole life story <laughs> of <laughs> kevin spacey's character and gains a new freckle oh man jeez no he's busy on that uh what is it uh ben her her yeah. yeah he has to deal with that mop on his head He's got that Rasta thing going on. <laughs> <laughs> that movie, heesh. we'll see. What I really enjoyed the original. Thought the original was really well uh, made. The original was legit for real, like timeless classic. Mm-hmm. I mean, we watched that. I watched that in middle school. Like they had some old school VHS tape that cut off like half of the movie. We didn't care. August. Yeah, my 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 birth month. It's your birth month? Oh, That's right. yeah. It's Kevin Spacey's gift to me. It's my mother's birth month as well. <laughs> so we don't have an official date yet. Like, this is the second trailer we've got. Please be the 22nd. <laughs> please. Please. That's right. Your mom's right. Or my mom's birthday is right next to yours. Hers is what? 23rd. 23rd. Okay. So if it's on my birthday, we ought to go watch it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> For my birthday. <laughs> All right. Try Here's to, to another year August single. 5th. Yeah. For real. Uh, August 5th. August 5th? Yeah. Freaking Mard over here on top of the ball. Freaking Mard. He's that's got what, his shit together. That's He's my brother's that birthday. Green Mather. Oh, why am I running this podcast? That's my oh. brother's birthday. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday to Hobbs. Hobbs. Habanero. Calvin and Hobbs. Calvin, Calvin and Hobbs. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Calvin? Listen. Okay. One one more point before we, before we head out here. Mm-hmm. I just want to know you guys' opinions on... The Jumanji remake. Are you for it? Against it? What do you think? I'm against the fact that it's being made, but you guys told me that The Rock was in it. Yep. He hasn't really let me down, I guess. You know, he's got his. You've never seen The Two Fairy. I'm not going to watch The Two Fairy. You should. So it's going to stay that way. That was like Vin Diesel's The Pacifier. Yeah, I did watch The Pacifier. It was not good. You had me hyped for a second. Yeah, I know. I was, like, I, was, I was like, oh, shit. I can't lie to you. I can't lie to you, fan. Wrong? <laughs> no, but, oh, I don't know. I just, I can't. Like, the movie, sure, it didn't look good. Original. The original, the special effects weren't the greatest. Like, the animals, you'd see them pass by, and then they'd, they'd lag. Oh, the, dude, when the, I watched that, I was so young that, like, that movie amazed me. And well, that's what I was going to say. Like, as as bad as it looked, as campy as it was, I loved it. Yes, the nostalgia factor alone. Like, mm-hmm. But here's the thing. What I think is, I think they shouldn't remake it so much as make another story like they these people found the game. Mm-hmm. And That's then the way it should be do done. that. Yeah. Because you can't top Robin Williams' performance. Like, It's Robin Williams, you know? No. I mean, everyone brought their game to that. Yeah. Dad, too, you know? And you, you got you to gotta respect that. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that's that's where I, you know, if it's like another story with a Jumanji game, I'm all for it. I'm hyped. The Rock is awesome. I just hope that it's not an actual true remake. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm hoping for. Mark? I'm going to wait until I see something about it because I don't really want to form an opinion. Mm-hmm. Because if they are going to do a remake, maybe, maybe there's a chance it could be good. Probably not. But if they, like, do a continuation, like someone else finds the game and plays it, Mm -hmm. could be great. Or or they could go the other ridiculously dumb route and make it dark and gritty. Oh, yeah. And it's like, oh, God damn it. Why? Why would you do this? I did not even consider that until you mentioned it. Yeah. That would be some bullshit, right? Because there are some dark elements to it. I mean, it really did kidnap a kid for several goddamn years. Of his life. Oh, that's true, yeah. And in he was jungle, living in a wait. jungle, so I mean. Until five or eight. Until, run, Mowgli. Until someone runs a five or eight. <laughs> ben Kingsley comes back. And they could do it from the aspect of like a kid getting trapped in that would the be cool. jungle. Damn. And then he eventually grows into being a rock and he fights his he's way out He's fighting gorillas and shit because he's, <laughs> he's so fighting, huge. He's fighting freaking uh, Idris Elba. <laughs> 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 and he wins. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Screw it's you, like, Henry. It's the whole, like, colony rebellion, like, again. Actually, is Rock American? Like, he, he's some half Samoan. He's half old. Samoan? It's like, he <laughs> looks like he's half Samoan. That dude's built, man. That, that dude, guy he, is a freaking, well, for lack of better words, mountain. He's he's a titan, yeah. yeah. So, I, I really do hope that they make another story 
mm-hmm. and they I really don't think they should even reference the other one. No. Just just make it a fun movie. The Star Wars Episode Seven of Jumanji. Yeah. It needs a follow up with similar <laughs> ties to the original. And if they do but make a really. reference, I would assume it's like inside the jungle. You see like a, some carvings from like Robin Williams's mm-hmm. character. That be that would be yeah. cool. Like subtle, subtle, subtle. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'd be nice. Easter egg, almost. But, you yeah, know. yeah. But I, if they draw attention to it, it's gonna probably kick most people out of the movie and just make it unwatchable or hateful. Yeah, fuck. That's a goddamn travesty. So, but like we said. I mean, we'd you, like it to go that way. You know they're going to eventually do a live action Aladdin too. Oh, yeah, because we got Beauty and the Beast and then we already have that Cinderella one. Mm-hmm. So you know that's coming up and I can't wait until people get pissed on that. It's like oh. Middle Easterns mm-hmm. not being included in a oh, Middle man. Eastern story. No, dude, they're going to have uh, that guy from Newsroom be Aladdin. What's his name? What was Jim? No, no, no. The, the actual like Middle Eastern guy. Oh, Slumdog Millionaire. Yeah, Slumdog, the the guy from the Fire Nation. Yeah, yeah, we know who we're talking about. We just oh, that Patel, in- pa- Patel, Patel. That's his name in the show, I think. Yeah, I was, Patel. S- I was like, are you making a Glengarry Glen like Ross like joke a, right now? Yeah. Like a racist thing? No, that's racist, man. No, Patel, Patel. I am not racist, everybody. I I just hate <laughs> wow. everyone equally. No, it's all good. I. I don't know. I haven't heard much about it being cast. Are you serious? No, I'm what? assuming it's going to eventually oh. happen. Oh, no. I was just, yeah, I was just. Oh, okay. I was going to say, like, really? Fuck, that's a lot further than I thought. Yeah. What, Jumanji or Aladdin? Well, both. No, yeah. no. I just know The Rock. Uh, I think it was in an Instagram post. Uh, I think it was. Yeah. That dude's always leaking stuff. Or on or Facebook. He yeah. does to give a fuck. He goes, what he are people going to do to it? Yeah, he literally wrote it on the on the caption, like, okay, we're starting up production for the huh. jumanji remake which is what he said so i was like oh don't remake it isn't he how the how people like found out about osama being dead <laughs> is he really <laughs> the rock probably because the rock killed him <laughs> with oh, his oh, bare hands <laughs> the rock is sealed team six a cast of one man <laughs> he just dropped the rock bottom on him oh. he's like got him on a spit can you smell what the rock is cooking <laughs> like, Fuck. oh god <laughs> Oh, that's graphic. This that's is turkey awesome. in a turn. Yeah, but like I said, I agree with you guys. I hope it's a sequel, not a remake. Huh. Nothing is sacred. Everything is being taken right now. Freaking everything. We just saw Independence Day, Blood, Blade Runner, Alien movies. Wait, when they're doing the Blade Runner movie? That's a sequel. But when is it going to Oh, happen? when is it? 17? Who 17, is it? Who's in 17 it? 17 at least. I don't know. What was that one remake with Colin Farrell? What? 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 Oh, Total Recall. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's right. And there yeah, that was an one. abortion of a movie. Really? Was it yeah. good? I watched it. and It's like my God. I'd rather watch an abortion, honestly. <laughs> Jeez. Robocop. <laughs> oh God. Wait, that's Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton was in that. Michael Keaton was. It, in it. it, it that was, was before his turnaround, okay. though. Oh, okay. That okay. movie was okay. That movie was okay. Was it? Yeah. But if like. If you were like a super fan of RoboCop, you would hate the hmm. fuck out of it. I need to rewatch those. At least the first one. Yeah. I'm sure they haven't aged well. That that two legged tripod thing. He did not look good. <laughs> but that is all we got. That's we it. Been, we started watching the trailer for Central Intelligence, starring The Rock as well, and Kevin Hart. We'll uh, watch that <laughs> some other some time. Some other time. <laughs> yeah. One day. We'll watch like just a bunch of shit looking trailers and just rip on them it will obviously not include nine lives because nine lives is oscar bait timeless man it is i'm like sad that i can't watch it right now i I was gonna say it probably 11 oscar nons is gonna tie the oscar it's gonna steal it from peter jackson and james cameron it's gonna take everything it's gonna take their existing ones oh damn it's that good yeah everyone has to submit them back leo Sorry. <laughs> At last. Oh, what a shitter. Anyone, anyways. Anyways, that's it for us. I want to say thank you to Beta for joining me again. You, Beta. Dealing with my shit. And Mr. Mard across the way. You got it, baby. All right, let's go check out the floods on the streets and shit. See if my it's rainy up. men. Hallelujah. And now for our closing track provided by Flip Shot. 
popular user on SoundCloud. Feel free to check out his channel. We have Jeff Goldblum's laugh from Jurassic Park is Ian Malcolm. Check it out. For the lovely listeners out there, don't forget to tune in to listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com slash babble-on-podcast. You can also follow us on Twitter at babbleon underscore. Feel free to check out our Facebook page at babbleon2016. That's B-A-B-B-L-E-O-N 2016. No spaces. We can also be found on iTunes for your listening pleasure. That's it for us here in the studio. Good night.